When you think he's gonna pull the trigger, step right duck. You can f*** Lars up the ass for being lazy with that stuff. But you're not being lazy, you're doing this. <laughs> and then Lars is just... Lars is a slap in the Get face. The La Lars... I mean, I don't, I don't know what's worse about this patch. Is it the Kazia nerf or is it the Lars buff? La Lars is a monkey character in this game. Uh, it's very easy to operate and pilot him. The amount of counterplay you have to monkey flip is uh, pre very, very little. Very little. Let's just start from scratch. Let's say a Lars is trying to mix you up with orbital and monkey flip. You've seen this about a million times so far if you played against the Lars. In any other Tekken game, you, you would sidewalk this right. But for some reason, Lars, even when he jumps uh, linear towards you, he'll spin around midair and grab you by the head or your hair. So that monkey flip is homing. Immediately, I'm like, this makes no logical sense. And it makes your character... It just removes uh, basic counterplay. So now to deal with this, you gotta do something super awkward that most people can't do. You step right into a duck. When you think he's gonna pull the trigger, step right duck. And you can actually kill both of these options. You can fuck Lars up the ass for being lazy with that stuff. But you're not being lazy, you're doing this. <laughs> this is hard to do. You can't expect most people to be able to do this stuff. And then there is this situation, which is torture when he does uh, garbage and sushi entry, right? He does sushi entry into rebard kick, this one. Now, straight up, I completely disagree with this attack because Sushi Entry removes every counterplay you have. As soon as he goes Sushi, uh, he controls the neutral completely. So, I, uh, step one, I immediately disagree with this move. There's no real counterplay. It's like a Dragon Lash that's plus some block, super duper, homing, super reach, mid. Uh, there's nothing you can do. It's like a Ken Dragon Lash, except in Street Fighter, you have a four-frame jab, or you have a DI to fucking interrupt that shit on reaction. We live with ten-frame jabs, and trying to power crush this- power crush this shit? It creates problems of its own. So what did we have before this patch? We had something kinda neat. We were playing Tekken. As bullshit as Lars is in this game, in my opinion, again, he's not S-tier, he's just cancer to play against. But you were actually still playing Tekken against Lars. But the developers did not like that, so they actually removed it. Let me explain. So, when Lars did this move on you, most of the time, you'd block. So you block that move. And now he goes into Sushi Entry. And here, he will mix you up with... A lazy Lars would mix you up with the low or the mid. This, you can actually option select, just like I showed you before with the orbital and monkey flip, but you wouldn't step right. As soon as you block that kick, if the Lars was lazy, you could punish him by doing step left duck, would beat both options, and then yet again, I would demon god fist to punish both of those options. So this was actually an option select on Lars's lazy 50-50 in this situation. So here, the Lars player had to actually play Tekken. He had to go, hmm, if I think he's going to option select me here, I do this. This would track you moving left and knock you down, or worst case scenario, now it would never wall splat you, but it would knock you down and it would be neutral on block. So here, if you anticipated that the Lars player was going to try and beat your option select by doing the 3-4, you would step right. And Lars 3-4 option loses to the tiniest step to the right. 
So this, this is what is known as playing Tekken. It's about mind games, and the defender has multiple options. That the aggressor have to keep in mind, and try and get a read. Is he gonna try and option select, or is he gonna try and counter the, my response to the option select? We're playing Tekken, right? So what, what did they do? Well, they made it so that... And they, this is so short-sighted. They even explained why they did this. They, man, they meant... When Lars does this on block, if he, if he defendant is in rage and has access to rage art, if he pops his rage art, he beats all of Lars's options. Ah, boo-hoo. When this kick is already fucking AIDS. AIDS to handle. So for that rage art situation, they made it so that this kick on block now, this 50-50 I showed you, this, there's no option select. There's nothing you can do. When you eat this kick on block now, you're so fucking staggered, you're locked down. What I just explained to you, step left duck, does not exist anymore. Lars no longer needs to do something smart to shut that down. To counter your option select. He doesn't need this anymore. Nope. That's out the door. They just made it so you have to take this 50-50. You have to take it. So full screen fucking dragon lash. On block. And just take the mix up. This is bad game design. This is straight up bad game design. And in my opinion, it's not Tekken. That's not Tekken. In my opinion. And all of that, all of this intricate gameplay flushed down the toilet because of a rage art situation. L Lars, in my opinion, is the prime example right now of bad game design in Tekken. He is, he's, he's in the lead. But God knows we have, we have a lot of runner-ups like Dragonov, but I think Lars takes the cake and just Poor fucking game design. Asusena and Lars is just very disappointing. Very disappointing.